boardroom battles are nothing new, but observers say the public nature of this one could have consequences. The whole like family infight so public. Uh, this is the one of the worst I have seen. It's been a volatile week for the Rogers. On one side, eldest son Edward. On the other, his mother and sisters. At issue, control of one of Canada's largest media companies. Earlier this week, Edward was removed as chair following an attempt to oust the current CEO. But he still controls the family trust and its voting shares. He called a Sunday board meeting, which independent board directors have dismissed as invalid. His sister Martha went even further in a barrage of tweets all weekend, seemingly mocking her brother and advisors as would-be puppet masters and masters of the universe. It doesn't look like you have your house in order when you're bickering, uh, you know, publicly on the internet. Um, uh, that, you know, th that doesn't help anyone. Earlier today, matriarch Loretta Rogers said in a statement, Edward unfortunately continues to proceed down a misguided and miscalculated path that puts his own interests ahead of those of Rogers' employees, customers and shareholders. All this while Rogers tries to finalize the multi-billion dollar takeover of Shaw Communications. The prospect of deal completion and also subsequent integration uh, will be high, highly risky. The stock market already has its vote. This expert says mediation is possible, but calls the current situation unsustainable. It affects all Canadians. Um, and they look at this and they think, why is this happening? You know, and that's a very good question. Whether this inner family drama will impact the Shaw deal or shareholders is something Canadians will be watching for in the weeks ahead. Talia Ricci, CBC News, Toronto.